name is Donald Keyes. I'm the Interim Chair of Pediatrics for Carillion Children's. The Pediatric Center at Tanglewood for Carillion Children's has been a long-term vision for the pediatric services here. Years ago, we decided if we really wanted to be successful, we needed a consolidated clinic space so we could put all our pediatric outpatient services into one location. And so this has been a dream come true for us. The former chair and vice president and other folks went around and visited some other ambulatory children's facilities in the Commonwealth. Um, to get some ideas and one of the ideas was that we often build facilities and waste too much space on waiting space and not enough on clinical space. So we tried to minimize the waiting space uh, and maximize the clinical space. We have color-coded different areas so when you walk in uh, and say you're going to see the pulmonologist, the pulmonologist is on the second floor. They're, they're, uh, they have a different color to their outside of their, their entrance. So we can tell the, the family, you will be going to the second floor, you'll be going to the orange area. We do a lot of work around physical therapy, occupational therapy, and speech therapy. And they are located right across the hall from our developmental pediatrics. So those two work together very commonly. And so to have those folks right in the same building as everybody else has been really helpful. The Tanglewood Mall location is incredible for Carillion Children's. We had all these pediatric services and people would say, well, who, who's Carillion Children's? Where are they? Well, now we have this huge billboard right on 581 and to, uh, 419. It's in a great location and, that, and we're ramping up. So we're gonna be hitting probably four to 500 at least patient visits a day. So that's, those are the children. They'll come with one or two parents. So that's going to bring a lot of traffic through that area. Uh, there are two buildings that are going up in front of Carillion Children's, uh, right near uh, 419, and I believe those are uh, restaurants that are, uh, they're, they're going up, uh, which is already a testimony to perhaps this being a catalyst for more economic development in the area. One thing I think is really uh, nice about the new facility is the artwork. And uh, there was a local artist that uh, was commissioned to do uh, a fair amount of the large artwork on the wall, and it's just beautiful. We do have a special room uh, that's a part of our waiting area where there's artwork donated by the Talman Museum. And then the other thing we have is unique art that's part of the ceiling tile. So children throughout the Roanoke Valley school system were asked to paint uh, scenes. And so if you go throughout the building and look up, you'll see ceiling tiles that were painted by children. Carillion children exist to improve the health of the communities we serve. Why am I excited about this? I'm excited because it gives us visibility both here in Roanoke and it's easy access for people who are coming from an hour, two hours, three hours away. I hope it will set us apart a bit and be a destination for people to come and be excited to come to because it is, it's a beautiful facility. For more information about Carillion Children's, visit CarillionClinic.org.